Hello, so we are back and this time we have a customer job, we have an Xbox uh, HDMI port to be replaced. So the customer sent me only the board and also he sent me a brand new HDMI port. I mean I do have ports here but it's nice you know when the, actually the customer is sending you everything. Okay. So, uh, what's the story? It's no story. We have to replace the port. I understood the customer said that there are some uh, missing tracks. So, uh, very possible we have, uh, you know, it's not that easy. It's not like just unplug and plug a new port. Well, it's okay, right? We can help him. I mean, how hard can be? Now let's take out the heatsink. Everything seems to be fine here. Apart from the HDMI port. I mean I can't really see missing trucks there. I can't see. Or, oh, okay, oh, <laughs> okay, I take my words back. Let's wait for the microscope. Oh. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Those are good. Those are gone. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it is a little bit of work here, right? Hmm. I mean, let's be honest, you know, no one it will send me a port to replace the HDMI port, just, you know, unplug and plug the new port. It is expected. Okay, so what do we have there? We have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, trucks to rebuild, yeah? It's not that hard, right? Now first, let's remove the pads from uh, the old HDMI port. Plugs. Yeah, perfect. Good. Now we have to solder the HDMI port. And after that, or not, one second, one second because the pins here. No, no, no. No, it's fine. No, it's okay. We have uh, enough space there. Right? Okay, so with the heat from the back. Just to be sure it's all the property on place. 
it is now let's check everything is looking good kind of okay everything is fine here yeah let's try here with some uh, solder you know what it's it's pointless if we are fixing this and uh, it, you know it will get broken again I mean the people it will abuse this port so we have to be sure even they are, are abusing this port uh, it will not get broken again right I mean our work will be useless if this is getting broken again perfect Okay, that one is fine. Okay, just a quick inspection so the port is soldered properly. I mean the support. Okay, on size is fine, yeah? I mean it's solid. Now we have to start doing... Uh, rebuilding trucks and doing bridges yeah those uh, pairs what you see here those are data lines yeah at two you have four six eight okay so i don't need this good I don't need this. Good. And we don't need this. And we don't need this. And this one. Now let's clean it. Solder bowls. Now let's clean the trucks, yeah, we have to solder wires here. Yeah. 
this one is fine. This one is fine. This one is fine. This one is okay. And this one is okay. Okay, so one more time. Have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Flocks. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's start with the first one. Good, and the first one is here. Perfect. Good. The next one. is that one and that one is coming here perfect the next one I mean it's not that hard it's just you know you have to be you have to be you have to be careful I mean, exactly what you're doing here don't worry we'll be cleaning at the end yeah so don't worry Perfect. Perfect. Good. We can check the solders uh, after we finish. 
we can check each solder. Now the next one is this one. Perfect. Yeah, we can see after about each one in particular here. Yeah. Now the next one. I mean, compared to what you see on the screen, um, the picture of my quality is fantastic. I mean, you cannot compare what I see with like any uh, digital camera. I mean, this is pure optics. So even with my dodgy eyes, the picture is perfect here. Okay, that's fine. And we have one more. Wow. Wow. Now the last one is an interesting truck. You can see it. And you can see it has a form, a form of coil or inductor. Yeah, that's perfect. Right? I mean, you'll do it on a different way. That's fine. This one. This one is fine, but you just... Uh, that one is fine. Well, that one is fine. Perfect. Now let's clean and see what do we have here. So how everything is looking here? Huh? Everything is decent, is soldered properly, right? You can spot anything wrong here? Anything at all? Now you know what is the hard job here? 
the hard part here is to take the flux, the flux out. So in order to use some uh, UV gel and uh, to straight a little bit the wires, yeah, uh, the hard part is to clean the flux. Okay, so everything is done. We clean it. Every wire is all there in place. Obviously, we have to be sure nothing is moving here. Yeah, each pin is soldered. The one with the half pads is there, still soldered. Now let's dry. And let's home with some uh, UV gel. and try to add some strut to our repair I know probably for you it's looking a lot, but it's not. Remember that the picture is magnified by the microscope. Okay, so everything is looking good. Perfect. Now let's come with the UV light. But it looks okay, right? I mean, what you can do more? You'll do it in a different way. This one uh, has to be here, right? Yeah. I mean, it will not it will not touch that truck, but has to be in that way. Good. Perfect, right? It's a good job. Now we do need some thermal paste here. And I believe this job is done. Oh, 
Okay, I will stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Now you you know how to build the trucks if you have broken trucks. It's quite simple, and you can buy. This is quite big. I mean, you can buy. Um, but you can't see it. Okay, the wires I'm using to build trucks. So this one is 0 0.20 millimeters. No, 0 0.10, sorry. 0 0.10. And it's good, you know, to rebuild trucks. Okay, so see you on the next one. Bye.